what up you guys mark from wandering souls back with a new video um just got back from uh, record fair and um yeah did some splurging um bought me six records um yeah really enjoyed my time there been a couple of hours there to the to the record bins and picked up some cool stuff for uh, to show you guys um also stuff that I really like so um, yeah first up I picked this one up at the stand of no dust records and I also was looking for this um, I really got in getting into this band lately and um, have a couple of records of them and I saw this one for a nice price I thought let's snack that one um, it's Flossum and Jetsum with no place for disgrace. It's their second album from 1988 and it's also a 1988 press. Comes on Black Final, um, released through Rose Runner with some a little dust on here, but um, yeah, just give it a good clean and the record is in perfect condition really awesome stuff um, really nice trash metal from the United States um, first album without Jason Newstead and uh, yeah Really, really cool stuff, guys. Um, definitely band to need to check out, and I'm really glad I could find this version um, and not the re-recording version um, because I prefer this version. Um, but yeah, great stuff. Flotsam and Jetsam with no place for disgrace. Also at the stand, I get their magazine, the Distro magazine. So yeah, contains uh, interviews and stuff. Um, yeah, stuff for other labels, their own label, really cool. Also came with a free CD, it's always really cool. You get stuff for free and that CD contains um, music from Spill Age, Temple, uh, Sacred Dawn, um, Truly, uh, Nanophile, Bezen, 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 I don't know how you pronounce that, um, Cyrus, which, which cult is 71, um, August Life, Radiator, Arm Crossing, Polybus, Stone in Egypt and Toxic. Um, a lot of both bands I don't know, I only know a few. So I'm really stoked um, just to check out what more is on that CD and maybe I'll find some really nice stuff that uh, I want to have in my collection. Um, so really cool that they gave this for free with it, awesome stuff. Next up, I picked this one up with a few others I think, yeah, I just put it in the right order. I um, also picked up Butsum at another stand with the album Butsum with, um, compiled with the Ask EP. And everybody knows Birdsum, and so I don't have to explain the lyrics here with on the background the Oscar front. Um, really cool stuff. Classic black metal from Norway. Everybody knows this, so uh, yeah, but I'm really glad I have this in my collection. Of course, this is a repress, but I don't mind because the original is fucking expensive, so I'm um, really glad that I have. At least a, a really good version. Um, Birchem with Birchem Aske. Next up, um, Metal Heart by Accept. And this is a German um, club pressing from 1985. Really cool. Labels, RCA labels. Yeah, except classic heavy metal. I don't have to explain that, I think.
here and there are some dings and stuff like that but hey it's an old record you can't expect it to be mint um, but yeah it's a bit dusty uh, as well so I have to clean it and the record will be fine I think to play um, a really great album um, one of the classics um, contains the songs metal heart um, up to the limit uh, screaming for a love bite um, Living for tonight, yeah, really great songs. Check out this album if you haven't heard it. Uh, and you like heavy metal, uh, 80s style, with raw vocals, except with metal heart, great stuff. Then some over to some Dutch death metal. This is sinister with um, aggressive measures. And this was the first album without Mike van Maastricht on vocals. This one is, um, has the vocals of Erik de Wind. Really deep growls by this guy. Comes with a lyric sheet. I'm not gonna bother showing yet because I just got the black ver vinyl version. So. Nothing special about that. This album was also released in a yellow version. But yeah, they had, didn't have that. So yeah, just picked up this one. And I really liked this album. This is um, highly underrated. Um, everybody um, says their early work is best. Of course it's the best work, but this album is definitely a good one as well. Um, really good tracks on this. Into the, Forgo uh, Into the Garden is a great song. Aggressive Magic, Beyond Superstition, Slave of the Week. Um, yeah, really great, great stuff guys. Um, definitely worth checking out. If you are familiar with the work, you know what to expect. And Really brutal old school death metal. Really great stuff. Um, maybe you guys can see the back. This is released by Cosmic Key Creations and reissue in 2016. Um, original album was from 1998, I think. Um, yeah, really great stuff. And the only album with Eric on vocals because the albums that followed got Rachel on vocals. So, yeah. Great stuff, sinister with aggressive measures. Then an only I found for a really nice price, and I really love this live album. This is Judas Priest, Unleashed in the East. Really nice classic, classic live album. And I'm not gonna bother show you in the record because it's on black vinyl. Um, yeah, that was a pretty common back in the day, so... Um, of course, this was recorded live in Japan. Um, some people say there were some overdubs uh, vocal-wise, but... Uh, yeah, there was never really proof for that, uh, I think. But uh, yeah, it sounds fantastic, uh, guys. This is a really great recording. Classic uh, priest tracks, Exciter, Running Wild, Sinner. Uh, Sinner. Ripper, um, the Green Man Alishi, um, Diamonds and Rust, Victim of Changes, Genocide and Tyrant. Really great classic tracks. Definitely worth checking out. Unleashed in the East by Judas Priest. <laughs> Almost that rhymed as well. <laughs> and the last one. I'm stoked to find this uh, on vinyl. I wanted to grab that back in the day when this was reissued in 2016, but um, yeah, it was too late to grab it. Um, but I really f f enjoy, f full of joy when I saw this. They had uh, copies. They had uh, it was released a marble vinyl and a splatter vinyl, and they both they got both for a kind of copies, multiple even. So uh, yeah. This was re released by Metal Blade. Um, I'm talking about Anthropomorphia with um, Necromantic Love Songs. And this is a reissue of the 1993 EP with the same name and the demo Bowel Mutilation from 1992. 
Um, if you're not familiar with this, this is some fantastic old school death metal. Um, really great, great stuff. comes with a booklet here yeah. really cool the drawings lyrics and stuff like that just gonna show you a few pages and you get the idea I think and they has some pictures of the band members As I said, the two versions, the grey marble one and the clear black splatter one, I have the last one, the grey black splatter, um, limited to 230 cop uh, copies, all, both versions are limited to that amount, um, I've got number 189, comes in the metal blade sleeve of course, and look at that beauty. Really nice splatter vinyl, awesome stuff. I'm <laughs> really stoked to have this, really awesome. Yeah, like I said, really cool old school death metal, saw them live as well, they really kick ass. Um, I hope I can get this back in here. Yeah. Really cool artwork as well, I have to say. Um, really cool stuff. I also got an album of this band on CD, I think. The second album. Um, can't recall how it's called, but it's an amazing album as well. They have multi uh, three albums, I think. If I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, great stuff. This EP rules as well. Um, I'm glad to own this in my collection. And to promote for Morphia with Necromantic Love Songs. And that's my haul for today guys. This stuff I scored at the record fair. Um, really glad to own this cool stuff. And uh, yeah. Let me know what you think about them. Uh, about the albums in the description. I really like to read that kind of stuff. Um, Sadly, I don't have uh, footage of the fair itself because um, I didn't film much and I didn't really like the footage I shot. So, yeah, sorry about that. Um, anyways, I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, liking and supporting and hope to see you with the next one.